Hey guys, this is Abeka Spelling Grade 4. They're probably going to be updating this because they're updating all the stuff with Grade 4. But I just wanted to show you this because I had looked and I couldn't find it. I will say that I think Abeka has some of the strongest spelling as far as the um, difficulty of it. Um, I've noticed the other curriculums seem a little bit easier in the spelling department for the same grade. So it, it's a little more difficult if I could give my opinion on it, but um, you know, no big deal. So anyways, this is it. It's basically just like a little thin book. It's not like the little workbooks like they have for the other stuff. Like, let me show you for the, uh, the spelling for grade three. I keep like extra workbooks, but this is the spelling grade three. And you see it has like where you, you know, answer the questions on a workbook page. It's not like this for this one. So I can't say from experience, I actually just got it in the mail because I wanted to have it. So I can't tell you all the details. I did not buy the teacher's guide. We'll just have our kids write it out and that'll be that. So let me zoom in and do like a little flip through here. Now the lighting might be a little weird Basically, I got like super bright lighting in my house. And then I kind of was like, oh, forget the million lamps I have. There we go. I'm going to try to make it bright as I can for you guys. Okay. So, hopefully you can see you have list one, thief, steak, August, collie, wear, creativity, volcano, laid, friendliness, dangerous, Delaware, Pennsylvania, receipt, September and they also show the cursive so if you want your kids to practice cursive like even if you don't do their cursive curriculum which you don't have to you could just buy their little little book that you you know write the they, they have like the lines and you could um just have them write out their spelling list in you know cursive so that that could be all this cursive that you guys do but I mean, whatever works. I like pen time also for cursive. So um, to each their own, of course. So then they have super sentences and you just fill in the blank, write the correct vocabulary word for each sentence on notebook paper. And um, it says the student wrote on blank on bicycle safety. Um, so then you have list two and they have Bible verses at the top. And everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Um, so then they have here, spell it right. There is one misspelled word in each of the following sets. Circle the misspelled word and write it correctly on notebook paper. So way, they have the E and the I swapped. Um, century. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Okay. So obviously that would... You know, I'm looking for century. Yeah, there's century. So, yeah, they have that in here. So, um, it looks like on, on list four, they stopped doing cursive. So, there's this website called Create Printables. And you can write up spelling lists and the kids can trace it. And they have, like, ten different kinds of styles that you can trace it with. And um, you can have it where they trace inside the lines or trace. Like, here's an example of one. Um, so they, they have it like dots. They have it with like lines and like number one, go down. Number two, go this way. So there's so many different things on create printable. So if you want your kid to do cursive and they've stopped here, just go to create printables. It's free. Just write in the words and they can trace it. And then you, they could like trace the first word and have like a blank for two other times to write it themselves. So anyways, just an idea there. Um, so they have just super sentences, super sentences. Um, and then here they have spell it right. Find each spelled, each misspelled word from list seven and circle it. Write the words correctly on notebook paper. Ethan was excited, excited about going on a trip. His family had been planning for weeks. They walked into a terminal. So then they have terminal up here and looked at the signs. So, okay, then over here they have just like the fill in the blank vocabulary. And I guess it's pretty cool, too, because with these, um, you could almost have them memorize and write out the Bible verses, too. And in cursive, if you want. 
Um, you know, really a good idea, just thinking about it. We haven't done this yet, but I mean, grade four, they should be able to do this. You could almost have it to where they memorize a Bible verse every week. That might already be in the teacher's guide. I have no idea because I'm just that smart. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so list nine is vocabulary review. Write the letter of the correct definition in the blank. So I'm assuming they just do like five and five. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like they just do five and five, five and five. Um, and then over here, it says write the missing vocabulary word on notebook paper. Take time to blank your thoughts before writing your reply. Buddy's mom sent him to the store on an, and then whatever. Um, list 10, here they have proofreading. What travels around the world but stays in one corner? Circle the letter beside the misspelled word to find the answer. Then write each misspelled word correctly on notebook paper. So we have O and then Tuesday, N, umpire, S, propeller. And then down here, you have your answers and you write down whatever. And then here we have super sentences. Let me make sure I'm still showing it good. Um, this one is read each sentence carefully. If you see a misspelled word, mark the space under that word. If all words are spelled correctly, mark the space under, no mistake. Write misspelled words correctly on notebook paper. And then over here they have spell it right. So they've got librarian spelled, you know, a little wanky and they fix that. Um, and this was pretty cheap. I think it was like 11 or 12 bucks on their website. And it's like free shipping. And I usually get their shipping like in that one day because I'm super close to their Pensacola location. Um, I could order this at like midnight and it's like at my house the next morning. I don't even know how they do it that fast. But I usually get it pretty quickly. Um, this order took like three or four days, but it was no big deal. I can go into more detail about what we're doing right now. I don't know if you guys care, but we have a lot of different things going on. And so I'm kind of doing a couple, we just have all kinds of stuff going on. So if you guys want to know more of what we're doing, just let me know and I might do a video about it. But, um, we have this cause I wanted her to have, I was just kind of curious about it and I'm sure they're going to redo the spelling, but um, I like how it's small and it's just little and doesn't take up a bunch of space. All right. So anyways, going through, you can kind of see the different words. Sorry if you hear my kids arguing and stuff. Now it is cool that it does have the vocabulary in here. I like that. I do have something coming from Milestone Books. I'll show you guys when I open that up. Um, I just, I haven't done many videos lately, but I mean to, but we just had a lot going on. And like, we've actually been quite sick for a couple weeks. Luckily, we're, we're all getting better, but it was like the sickness that just wouldn't go. We were like, good Lord. And it just like, it just kept hitting hard. <laughs> like, you think you're getting better. And then it was almost like a whole new variation of a sickness. It was so weird. Um, so yeah, but we, we don't vaccinate, so... Um, if that makes any difference to you guys, we don't do that, but we, we hang out with people who do. So to each their own, whatever works for them. I'm only saying that because some people are probably like, did you have COVID? <laughs> Cause you know, that's like the first thing people ask, like, did you, did you get COVID? Um, so here's their poetry. The sandpiper window boxes, Hiawatha's childhood, Hiawatha, 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 I don't know, the children's hour, little by little, and then they have the glossary, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what this was like. I, I just, I couldn't find this online. And so I would see like a little bit here and there, but I couldn't get like a real flip through. So, um, I just thought I'd show you guys this. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.